Nantec is a veritable tool for the development of the world and to properly proper control natural disasters. But as I said earlier on, there are two sides to a point. What is good for A will be bad for B. So the same thing, side. We have what I've said earlier on, there are positive sides. Let's now go to the negative side. What signs and then be to bring problems to work? Share in 2013, identify 25 negative effects of science of technology. I will just read isolation. When you are using your handset, you are isolated. Children of that day, they will be in their room. If you call them, to, they will not come out to eat. Go and check what they are doing. This answer. I used to tell my children, you charge your phone every, every minute. What are you doing with the phone? It's, they are always with the phone. If they are not chatting, they are doing this, they are doing that. They isolate themselves. When a child isolates himself or herself, it's a problem. If a child doesn't communicate to the outside world, it's a problem. Lack of social skills. You know, it's, it's good to interact with people. We have to wait for this here. Yeah. Because children of that day, they don't interact. The language they use in texting, they use it in writing essay or composition. So, slash, pop. They say that is their pop. Then, obesity. When you sit at a particular place for a very long time, you become obese. Depression. Poor sleep habits. Pollution. Pollution means not many of these technology. They are being replaced for new partner, new partner, new partner. So the old one we put them aside. It's not easy to manage e-waste. Many of them again need to our uh, source of water supply. If they don't want more old or well around where they deposit this e-waste. They will leak into that into the, 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 the water supply and that's the problem. The other thing is Increase bullying. No, when you are on the net, you can say anything you like. Those who cannot confront, especially on the net, you can say you are this, you are that, you are that. That's bullying. And that has come to school system in US now. Shooting in school. Shooting. It's as a sort of what they do with the net. A child will just okay, okay, you need this. That will child that was expelled from the school. Okay, you expel me from the school, okay, no problem. He went to that room with a gun and killed about 12, 12 people of 12 children. Now, I left of deceit. Because of internet now, you can call yourself what you are not. There was this ceremony story. Somebody sold a shoe, paid up in a shoe, in a shoe, to a Brazilian man. He sold a draft to a Brazilian man. He said he's the chairman of everything in Ontario State. On the net. And you see. Who so, can adjust to a company? And those ones who, who agree. They stress. When you charge yourself, you bring it up, it is stress. Then you use your hand to type to type. Maybe you are using your computer or you are using your, your handset. Constant using your this hand to, 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 to type. Bring out some form of uh, injury to the to the thumb. Le lack of social boundaries. Lack of sexual boundaries. That one is a uh, is a serious thing now. Young men and women that are not supposed to know anything about the uh, sexual something. Now I suppose to social things very early. There was a story of a, a lecturer in Unilad who used to buy this uh used to work. The, the, the boy now peeped through the the TO. So when you get to the school, when you are addicted to answer, it's like somebody addicted to drug. If you remove the answer from you, 
Even if, when you are you are sleeping, they, they remove that. When you wake up, where's my answer? Where's my answer? It's a sign of a uh, neurosis. Like somebody on drug. If you know, those who are people on drug who are being rehabilitated, at the time when they wake up, they will be looking for where they put their their drug. The same thing. If you are used to this internet too much, then. Uh, Benedict 2012 identified the following negative effect of uh, science and tech. Make children to be lazy. It changed the way children think. It puts adult privacy and security at risk. It changed the way children feel. At March 2016, I started that introduce technology to children at a young age can have adverse effects on their personal life, their relationship with other children, their health and future. He said further that it can lead children to social isolation and give rise to other serious physical and mental diseases such as obesity, as I said earlier on. Then Abdullah Etor 2014 saw the negative effect of social networking sites among Asian university scholars in Malaysia and found out that social networking sites such as Facebook affect scholars of Asia Pacific University negatively for is reading their academic performance. Then Yukon 2012 also found that Spent, time spent on Facebook and checking Facebook was negatively related to overall grade point average of the student. Time spent on social network sites is shown to negatively impact academic performance. As time spent on social networking sites increases academic performance of the student, it, 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 sorry, the academic performance of the student is seen to be, to be deteriorated. The Capstone 2010 also came out with similar results. Duta 2012 said that being fixed on a checking text messages, playing game, checking email, or calling friends and relatives can often make a user, to, a user a slave to the culture of technology and detract them from other forms and engaging new world activity. A very the 2015 argued that overusing of modern technology or appropriate usage yields negative effect on the user and advised that user should be self disciplined when using them. That is personal something. Let's start to how it affects nations. At first, when science and tech has led to production of sophisticated war equipment by military scientists. You know, in First World War and Second World War, conventional war, just guns. But in Second World War, they used atomic bomb for the very first time in two cities in Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Even the scientists that were involved in making those weapons, when they saw the devastating effect, they were not very happy. They said they were sad and they regretted producing that kind of weapon. Because it nearly destroyed the whole city of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. That was 1945. Today, Weapons that are more lethal than atomic bombs, nuclear weapons, they are now available. Many countries now have those weapons. US, one. UK, France, Germany. And recently, North Korea. North Korea because the president there is a young man. Very young. He demonstrated to you that U.S. be careful. He sent ballistic missile and landed in Pacific, and he told U.S. that I have one that can land in Los Angeles. So if you don't, if you don't, don't copy yourself, I will use it. That is why U.S. is to be suspended. And let us pray that uh, Donald Trump will not say uh, he will send bombs. To, to North Korea. Now, the new bombs, the new weapon of war that is now in the hands of those nations can kill the entire nation. Toward the end of this lecture, I will show you a video clip of this new weapon, how devastating that new weapons 
will be if it's allowed to be used. Now, another negative effect of science and tech is using human beings as subject of experiment. Scientists now use human beings as subject of experiment. There was one carried out by in one university in the U.S. The researcher used 20, 22 orphan children as subject. He wanted to find out their efficiency of language. He played the children to two groups, experimental and control, and gave them speech therapy. Out of the children under study were given positive speech therapy, while the other one were, were given negative speech therapy. Most of the children who received negative speech therapy developed psychological problems. Their self-esteem was also lower, and some of them developed speech problems as they grew up. Now, recently in China, one scientist said he has changed the DNA of twins in the womb. It can be done. Science and tech has made that easy. Operation can be done on fetus in the womb. If there's any, any deficient in the formation of the child, they can do operation to the child in the womb. That's the, the, the beauty of modern science and tech. But what that Chinese scientist did, it, it, it happened in November 2018, and on that, he has regularly genetically altered the DNA of twins' guests in their mother's womb. And when he was asked, what did, what did he want to do? He said he wants to use that to prepare certain medicine to cure HIV. But the Chinese government stopped that experiment because they say it's, it's against ethical, uh, ethical practice. They asked him to stop that kind of experiment. Whether he will stop it or not, we don't know. We have all out of cloning. Cloning. Experiment on cloning. If we have about 20 or 30 Adolf Hitler in the world, we will know what will happen. That's why they say cloning is not good. People should stop uh, cloning. Now, another negative effect is the issue of deep fake technology. This, one, this deep fake is not in that pamphlet because it's an information gathered after the pamphlet has been submitted to the committee. It's deep fake technology. How does it work? It's a very serious thing. What they do is they take video clip of a person where you talk. They take your photograph. If they take two or three or more of your video clip, they now install the computer to your, the way you speak, to identify the way you speak, the color of your eyes, the color of your skin, the texture of your skin. When they do that, they have the problem. They cannot use your image to do anything. They can use it for pornography, they can use it for arm robbery, they can use it for anything. I imagine all of us sitting down here. If some, if a video clip was sent to your to your WhatsApp message, and you see your spouse with another woman or another man making love, and the voice, the same as that of your wife or your man, what shall we do? celebrities in US. One musician said she's tired of that, that she knows every day new new edition will come. If that Donald Trump now wake up, if fake picture, fake video clip of Donald Trump, that's okay. The threat of North Korea is becoming too much. My, my allies, we are trying to teach him a lesson. As I'm talking to you, US war plane are bombing Taking position in North Korea. I trust the young boy, he will not wait a minute before sending me to the US. And if he send his missile, then the third world will start. Uh, we don't pray for that. So
So fake technology is a very bad technology. Now, let us now see how, what will be this? All this we are saying, what can African countries do to make the effect of this thing minimal to a younger generation coming? The only thing you can do is to expose them to and take very early so that they can recognize the positive side and try to avoid the negative side as far as possible. I to thank the past lecturer, Dr. Dr. Oladisi Omani Ibelo, um, now Professor Okebukola, who introduced me to Stan. So it is through those who stand that I now know how to write conferences. So I've been under different chemistry between 1985 and 1990. And because of that, I find out that teachers in secondary school don't normally put to the practicals. They teach the, the theory mode without the practical of the course. And I suggest that teachers in secondary school practical as Dr. Antonio Olumu Iwafi Atono, Dr. Emmanuel Nolaleye, Dr. Fisayo Arelu, Dr. Kemi Sola Ido Uosho, Mrs. Esther Adiboye, Mr. Adetunji Adebola, Dr. Iyamo Yetade, Mr. Saaka Vijay, uh, Mr. Sarumi Adetokun, Mr. Shegwa Ayelaja, Mr. Adekunye Abdo, Dr. Pauline Adebeju. For being there for any time, I seek for the advice and assistance. Support and prayers member of the Muslim community at all time to me. Even this morning, a prayer session was held for me for this presentation. I thank you all. I don't have a solid time, the current and past chairman of Misha Board and members of the Misha Board. Imam Tauf Toi Pishola, Aladi Kamal Di Balogun, Dr. Taufi Kolali Khan Isuk, Dr. Maruf Din Shitu, Dr. Sulaiman Muse, Aladi Rahim Sunrein, Amir and Amira, and all executive members of the Muslim community. I have to thank Mr. Ajetumabi, the secretary, Mr. Ajetumabi, the financial secretary, Mr. Said. Adibolua, Mr. Asis Ajayi, Mr. Azam, Mrs. Abikodri, Dr. Ganeyat, Kusako Ireko, Adnobu Treasurer, Alaja, Mrs. Moren, Ike I want to appreciate members of Peace Estate Odorabushi, where I reside. Mr. Adesha Bababang, the current chairman. Mr. Adewali Agba, the first landlord. Mr. Amke Olabuju. <laughs> Mr. Segu Ifebuyi. Mr. Shegu Adekoya. Mr. Saeed Ajibolua, Mr. Lainon, Mr. Ijale, Mr. Kadi, and Mr. Saeed for their support. I want to sincerely thank members of the Committee of Friends, under the Chairman of Comrade to the Awarati, for their intimacy and cooperation all the time. Professor Yobusiji, Dr. Abosid Adetoro, Mr. Samen, Ola Alu, Ola Nude, I do appreciate you all. We met at the union level and we transformed ourselves to Committee of Friends. May we return many good things in our life. You know, leaders in Mokwe, Kobe Michael Adefuye, Kuasu, Kobe Dadi Ami Ogulari Suken, and Mr. Olaleka Kola Oleke, Kunasu, I thank you all. I want to appreciate the contribution of my uncle, Mr. Amos Abidu Oladipo, in my life. I don't know if my uncle is here to stand up for recognition. Maybe he has not come. I also appreciate members of the Itezuadu Club in Erika. Under the chairman of Mr. Ayodeji, Peter Ayodopo, I do send this your prayers for me. The early advice of Mr. Badi Ogudina is also appreciated. Finally, my unquantifiable appreciation goes to the love of my life, my loving wife, Mrs. Ramatalai Kutlopo Ibrahim. I want, please permit me to allow my wife and my children to stand up for recognition. As your name, Ramatalai, which means blessings of God indicate. It has been one blessing over and over another since you came to my life. I sincerely appreciate you for your patience, endurance, and understanding. May you reap the fruit of your labor. Amen. My children, who are the source of my joy, I thank you all. Abraham, who is there? 
Can you stand up for recognition? Abrasat is on your service. Abrasit, Abrofin, Akinkomi, Ito Anulaya Abolore. And my only daughter, Rofia, Omodola, Olufulayo, Akola Shadi Abike. God bless you. My professor, principal officers of the college, colleagues, invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, great Makopedites, I sincerely thank you all for honoring the invitation to this lecture and for listening attentively. I wish you all safe journey back to our destination. Thank you, sir. I did not hear any sound of clap. <laughs> yes, that one was like when 20 people are clapping. <laughs> and we are more than 20. <laughs> to you. An associate professor, Oluwu Razak Adioli. I'm just afraid that immediately I go out of this place, some people will not come and challenge me in that you didn't recognize us. And it was through the lecture of uh, and the, through the inaugural lecture, I discovered that I have made a very big omission when I was doing the introduction. I failed to introduce the union leaders in this college. And therefore, permit me to introduce to you Mr. Adefui, the chair comrade. Sorry, Comrade Adefuye, the Chairman, College of Education, Academic Staff Union. Dr. Comrade Adefuye. <laughs> Ms. Comrade Ogunlari, the Chairman, Senior Staff Union in the college. Comrade Ogunlari, please. Okay, can we clap for you? And last but not the least, Ms. Comrade Lekon Okeko, who happens to be the chairman of NASU. Grace! 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 You are welcome, sir. He has made his inaugural lecture on 7th February, and I was born on 7th February. program to an end by again to you Dr. Ogun Sonya from the Department of Arts and Social Sciences Education on Labisi Onobanjo University. Again somebody said I did not introduce myself. Excuse me. And if I have made that mistake, let me introduce myself as Mr. Joseph Okpeolu Oguni, the current Dean School of Early Childhood and Primary Education, Michael Otedola College of Primary Education. Again, one more introduction. The chief host is the provost, and the host is the committee 
this program. I may not be able to introduce all of them because I don't have their list, but I know the chairman and I know he has worked assiduously to make this program a success. Not only this one, even the previous ones. May I introduce to you an erudite scholar, a dogget, maybe I call her an entrepreneur because she knows how to trade as well as knowing academic very well. I introduce to you the one and only Dr. Fola Shade Ojetunde, the chairman of the committee. Committee, please forgive me, I don't have your list, but I know Dr. Ojetunde wouldn't have achieved this feat all alone. I will recognize you. Make, will you stand for recognition, please, members of the committee? Where are they? Yeah. You are all recognized. I will say thank you. I want to invite again the team host, the lucky man, always smiling, agile and ready to assist. Don't get a success between man. The provost. Dr. Nasruddin Olajide Onipon to please give his closing remarks. Thank you very much for this honor. We have listened to the inaugural lecture and we have been uh, tutored more about science and technology, the benefits and the disadvantages. One of the things I learned in this college is uh, locomotive clapping from uh, Dr. Mrs. Yakini. Can we have that again for the lecturer? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We have had that. Somebody has said that uh, God in his infinite mercy doesn't always want to destroy human being as a community, but takes us alone, one after the other. But through science and technology, human being develops what can destroy themselves, a whole community, a whole nation, the one today they call it mutual destruction. I destroy you, I destroy myself through science and technology. And one of the things I learned also reminds me of these two musicians, Obe and Sonia Ade. When they say science and technology, one of the disadvantages is that it can cause obesity. And that quickly reminds me that some of you can uh, imitate me and be Sony City. He has also told us that solutions to our problem is also to teach practical sciences in our schools. And that's where it uh, brings the administrators in place to provide those practical materials to teach science and technology in our school. The inaugural lecturer distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to use this opportunity, golden one for that matter, to bring this sitting into a close. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. We are bringing the program to a close and um, we invite Pastor Ladi Pupo, if he is here, to please give us a closing prayer. Almighty God, we thank you. We appreciate you for what you have done today. We appreciate your greatness. We appreciate the wisdom you have bestowed upon the presenter, Dr. Ibrahim, because knowledge comes directly from you. And we thank you for all the wonderful presentation. We thank you for the participants. We thank you for the family. We thank you for the college community. We thank you for every one of us that we are here. We appreciate you. Because without you, we can do but nothing. And that's why we appreciate you for everything you have done today. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the family of the presenter, I pray that you, Almighty God, will continue to be with them. Amen. I pray that the college will continue to witness good things like this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for every participant that as you are going further to our various destinations, I pray that you will go with any of you. Your protection will be upon our life. Amen. You will go with us. Amen. Thank you because you are God. We give you all praises and adoration. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Collect and pray. session moves out in reverse order.